Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayan and today we're going to be reacting to Bill Burr losing your shit marriage. Let's let's watch. I always enjoy a Bill Burr. Off this shit. So I've been trying to learn uh, learn how to fix shit around the house. That's what's filling up all this time of just being sober. <laughs> That's brutal, dude. You have no idea how long a year is until you're stone sober. Oh, it's fucking brutal. So I'm learning how to fix shit, right? My girlfriend doesn't like it because she says I have a temper. You know? She's like, you know, it's just not that you're trying to fix things. It's that you get frustrated, you punch the wall, the dog starts shaking. I just don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> you know, you're a comedian. You should tell jokes. He's a plumber. He should plumb, right? You're right. <laughs> trying to explain to her that losing your shit is part of the process of fixing something. Right? Everybody does that. You buy, right? Yeah, yeah. you just get so frustrated when things you don't work out. You buy something at Ikea, you get halfway through putting it together, you're like, dude, where the fuck is the fucking... Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, come through that. Well, honey, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Why? Well, you want to put it together? You want to... Well, then you put it together. You put together this fucking particle board piece of fucking shit. It's instructions <laughs> make no sense. I will buy another one. I will buy another one. I'll buy fucking five and smash four if I want to. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, go to your mothers. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, what story are you going to tell? This one, right? <laughs> Not the part about how I pay all the fucking bills, right? Oh. <laughs> how was that uncalled for? Oh. How was that uncalled for? I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to the fucking thing. I was talking to the fucking thing. I know what I said. I know what I said, okay? You don't need to tell me. I know what I said, yes. I am working on it. I am working on it, all right? Look, look, you think I want to be this guy? You think I want to be the guy who flips out about the fucking tables? I don't, okay? This isn't who I am. This is who I became, all right? I'm working through this shit. You didn't have to speak. Well, you do shit too, okay? You do shit too. Well, I thought you were going to your mother's. <laughs> That's brutal. Why do they get so angry so easily? I ain't having a temper, man. It's fucking embarrassing. You know? I don't know. I'm sick of women trying to... F Every girl I ever date's always trying to fix me. It gets annoying after a while, you know? Like you're not out of your mind with all your fucking shoes. <laughs> right? What is that all about? I'm sick of this hypothetical perfect guy. Go get him. Go down to Applebee's. Let me know what you find. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm at it. I'm working. I'm trying. You go down and you get this Mr. Even Keeled all the time with his little fucking sport coat, right? You, you live with that guy for a while, you know? Hey, honey, I'm home. How are you? Well, traffic was crazy. Almost lost it, but thank God I had that book on tape, right? <laughs> Gulliver's Travels, always a classic. Always a classic. That's the guy you want straight across the board, even in the bedroom, right? Always making love to you, missionary style. I love you. Your hair is like an ocean. <laughs> you never know when you like to be flipped over and have your face mushed into the pillows. You fucking psycho, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's right. She's always right. I do. I got to work on it. I hate having a temper. You know, I don't know if it's hereditary. I don't know if it's part of the country I'm from. I've always snapped, you know? My dad was like that. My dad's the greatest dude I ever met in my life. And he had a temper. Anytime anything broke in the house, five minutes into fixing it, he was bitching about his marriage. <laughs> What's that got to do with his marriage? Hilarious. He'd see something broke. Oh, Christ, will you look at that? God damn it, Billy. Give me that fucking screwdriver. I swear to God, I don't want the fuck I ever got married for. <laughs> Thirteen goddamn years of this shit. Oh, you're a bitch, lady. You've been a bitch for years. <laughs> Give me the flyers. Yeah, most guys would have left by now. Most guys would have left by now. <laughs> that was one of his catchphrases. Most guys would have left by now, and you don't know how fucking good you got it, lady. So why didn't you leave then? Yeah, when I was a kid, I thought he was nuts. Then I got older, you know, started dating, and I realized, eh, this guy's making a lot of good points. <laughs> As you go He's not expressing them in the healthiest of ways. Into your dad. I feel like if you always constantly have a temper, you, I, I think it chips away at your life expectancy. To be that angry all the time must be doing things to your health. 
embracing them in the healthiest of ways. I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda, I'm kinda like jealous of the way my dad gets to talk to my mom sometimes. You know, <laughs> where are all those old school women you can just take your day out on? You know? What? When did they stop making those <laughs> angels? Who just knew it had nothing to do with them, they just sit there and let you blow out the lines, right? What a luxury. Right? To fail all day, you come home and download all your insecurities on this other person. How was your day? How the fuck was your day? I'm out here making decisions. Keep these kids away from me. Give me a goddamn drink. Oh, with the tears. Oh, oh my God. That's a horrible marriage. <laughs> then the bra burning generation came in, right? Now you get to sit there and listen to their stories all the time. Oh, it's the worst. You know what's the worst is when they're telling you a story and you want to listen, but just what they're talking about, you can't even retain it. So I was supposed to go out to lunch with Jennifer. I'm all ready to do that. I show up, she's there with Susan. She knows I hate Susan. I look like shit. Susan's been going to the gym. I mean, at that point, your head is like a newborn baby. You're trying to, <laughs> trying to hold it up. You say, like, you know? stop. You can't, even if you're trying to pay attention, you can't. Then you just start staring at their mouth after a while. Like, I can't believe it keeps coming out. This is fucking <laughs> unbelievable. He's like, rawr, 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 rawr. It starts fading off. You start thinking about your own life, right? Why did I take Nebraska given 28? What the fuck is wrong with me? It's an away game. All of a sudden, her voice goes, eh? Why don't you? I would rather be single then if you feel like that. What the hell? Be single then if you're, 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 you get that annoyed with your partner. Nebraska given 28. What the fuck is wrong with me? It's an away game. All of a sudden, her voice goes, eh? It goes up, right? Eh? I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, that was a question. <laughs> All right, now what do you do? Can't say yes, you can't say no, you gotta come with something neutral. Hey, what the fuck are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> it is what it is, you put one foot in front of the other and uh, you know, halftime adjustments, uh, got nothing. I don't want to make my dad out like a psycho, man. My dad's the best dude I know, man. But, you know, I, I understand him, though. You know, he's like the exact opposite of me. You know, I planned out my life a little more, right? That's why I never got married. Never thought about getting married. It just looked horrific. It looked really difficult. This is all. It looked like a lot of them failed. Then if you had a kid, you have that whole weird situation, right? You got this thing that half looks like you, half looks like somebody you used to love and now want to slap the shit out of, right? Oh my God. Kids coming up to the walk, you're like, son, just look to the right a little. Let me just kind of cheat. But dad, I want to look at you. <laughs> it's brutal. My dad was the exact opposite. Fell in love, got married, just started having kids. Had five kids by the time he was 33. Pre-Oprah, pre-Dr. Phil, Free chicken soup for the holy fuck. I got five kids. I don't even know who I am yet. The pressure of that. Feeding all those kids, man, I'm telling you. I'm 33, days, that's just snap, wow. Just snap out of nowhere, you know? Can you pass this all down? You fucking bitch, how the fuck are you married for this bullshit? <laughs> boom, he'd slam the door, have the car in third gear by the time he got it to the end of the driveway. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> My mother would always do the exact same shit. Just lock the door behind him, turn around, look at the kids, and just be like, <sighs> <laughs> Man, he's just crazy. He's just a crazy person. What is wrong with him? Eight hours later, he show up. No apology. She'd have dinner ready. She messed it up. He'd give her a rough time. Christ, you cooked the shit out of it. <laughs> that sounds like a horrible marriage. I think to I'll be, be a good dad, though. You know, I do. Yeah. That sounds like my absolute nightmare to be in that kind of relationship. Come on, like I'd rather be, well I am single, I'd rather stay single than ever be in something like that. That just sounds like horrible time. You'd have such a horrible, horrible time. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. That's it for me, goodbye.